What's going on, YouTubers? What's going on? What's going on? What's good? It's your boy Kyle. Red Mike Radio. Once here again. I'm back. It's been a while. I've been real busy with life. You know. YouTube is only a part-time gig. You know. It pays money here and there. But unfortunately, it's not my entire life. <clears throat> but anyway, anyway. Um, September will be here in two days. So, happy early fall, everybody. To all the Virgos. And all, and all college students. But anyway, let's get on right to it. Um, right now on YouTube and in the world of dating, um, the hottest topic is high value men. And according to, um, uh, Kevin Samuels and part of me and Forbes as well, a high value man is somebody who is usually not always, but you know, in most cases in corporate America, he makes about six figure salary. No, um, annually. He has friends who are in high places. You know, he has money, a car, a house, a degree from Princeton and Yale. He's, he's a high value man, you know, meaning, you know, he's well off usually. But actually, he is. But mainly in black culture, you know, mainly in black culture. It may appear as if the high value man are getting all the girls, but unfortunately, unfortunately, they're not. And I've seen this firsthand because even with Ellie Rogers, the first incel, Ellie Rogers had a BMW, a college degree, he had money, but unfortunately. He did, he did that shooting um, in that gym because the girls ignored him. Because he felt entitled to females. His goal, his um, his game was, I have a college degree, a suit on, I have money there. Girls owe me pussy. Girls owe me pussy. That's the mentality he had. That's the mentality that he had. And unfortunately, it got out of nowhere. And he became angry and became an incel. Because in life, male and female, male and female, nothing is owed to you. Nothing. Male and female. But I'll say this because, like I said, not all, not all, but in most cases, Okay, most cases, most high value men are pompous usually. You know, they're entitled. And I find over the years, even in the black church, the black church, when a woman's married to a high value man, meaning a guy working on uh, a floor trader on Wall Street, it may appear that she cheats on him with um, his manager on Wall Street. No. She usually cheats on him with a guy, a, a black culture, I hate to say it, a player or thug. Why is that? Because in most cases, not all, in most cases, that thug or criminal fulfills her needs. Emotionally and sexually. See, back in the day, a man's job was to go out in the world, um, work 14 hours a day at a steel mill or on um, the railroads. He took his, he, his job was to take his check, put it on the table. That was it. Those days are long gone. 
long going. Girth today is saying, I have a college degree, my own house, my own car, and my own money. So with that being said, if I have those things, why do I need you? Why do I need you? And most men who high value don't have that answer. Some do, most don't. A woman needs your time and attention, your input, a listening ear, affection, warmth, comfort, protection. Things money cannot buy. So that's that's why usually in most cases you see um, the high value man's wife cheat with a thug, or, well, cheat with a cheater, the cheat with a thug or criminal, and 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 he gets mad, you know. In life, everything God created obeys a nature and a law. Everything God created obeys a nature and a law. The female principle is designed to receive. Whether it be money, good dick, communication, attention, a listening ear, which most men, not all, hear me out, not all, don't know how to give. Because we live in a culture now where we're taught that men and women are equal. We're equal in pay, in rights, in abortion, but unfortunately, as he intended, our nature differs. We do. We're different. I know that's very impossible to say, but we're very different. How we think, how we feel, how we communicate, how we smell, our brain chemistry. We are not the same. We're not. So guys today are being taught that your manhood depends on only your money. Okay, that's part of it. That's part of it. But there's more to it than that. It is. And Ellie Rogers was very, you know, uh, socially awkward. And at times, uh, people who are socially awkward, you know, men in particular, they come off to women as creepy. You do. That's just how it is. Because right now, mainly in black culture, okay, is that Pookie and Ray Ray and John John, um, um, who complain about women? I see. It's usually the nice guy, high value man. She left me. She's mean to me. She's a jerk to me. Well, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Are you coming home at, um, at a certain hour? Are you paying her attention? Are you involved with the kids? I'm going to say this. Because um, first and foremost, the, um, the majority of black men, you know, me included, were raised by the father in the home. We were. And most of us, at times, at times, don't know how to handle a woman. We don't. I'm going to end by saying this. If you're a high value man, your manhood is not only defined by money, 
You know, that's part of it. Oh, oh, I would say that that's half of it. I'll say that's half of it. It is half of it. But a woman requires more than that from you. She does. She won't tell you that because women don't, you know, often explain things because, you know, they see it as, you know, if he don't know, I won't tell him. But ladies, men need to be told what to do step by step because we're logical and visual. That's how we're made. That's how we're made. Because right now, uh, mainly in black culture, 51% uh, of black men are single and childless. 72% of black women are single mothers. So that means there are more black women, women with kids than black men. Why is that? Because they share the same man. That is fact. Most black men, most black women are sharing the same man, whether it be uh, um, on purpose or by accident. But they're sharing the same man. They are. But anyway, nice seeing you again. I'm going to try to do a video at least uh, once a week now, you know. Once a week now. So, in the meantime, you guys can press like, click subscribe right over here, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.